With this example, I want to highlight a very important aspect of force. It says, determine the force exerted by a person having mass of 80 kg on the surface of the earth. As you know, force is m times a, where m is the mass and a is acceleration due to gravity. And acceleration due to gravity, this is a vector force, a is also a vector. Acceleration due to gravity is 9.8 meters per second square. So whenever we say what is the force exerted by a person having mass of 80 kg, then the force will be how much? Force will be equal to mass, which is 80 kgs, 80 kgs times 9.8 meters per second square. And so we can use calculator and figure that out. And most of the time, you can also approximate it multiplied by 10. So it would be 9.8 times this is 784. So we get 784 and the units are kg meters per second square. And there is an alternate unit which is a standard unit for force which is Newtons, right? So whenever you, you, you will see so many examples where the force will be expressed in Newtons. So Newton means this, you need to understand, it is kg meter per second square. That is one Newton, right? So that is kind of a conversion factor. Now in examples, if I say kg weight, if I say, let us say one example has got 100 kg weight. Now in that case, what is the force? In that case, force is equals to 100 Newtons. Remember this part. So I'm highlighting this for you because in many examples we will have, you know, we'll just express force in terms of mass sometimes and sometimes in terms of weight. So whenever we have it in terms of weight, then weight is the force by which a body is attracted towards the center of the earth. So weight is itself a force and the unit of weight is kg weight right and it is expressed in newtons right so that is same unit but if you're talking about mass then you need to multiply it by 9.8 meters per second square to get the force in newtons so this is a very important aspect to understand since it can make a lot of difference in solving questions right so remember the difference between mass and weight and whenever you are talking about mass and relating it to force, you need to multiply it by 9.8 in MKS systems, right? So that is what I want to highlight with this video. Thank you.